What's going on guys? Drew Jones, class of 2022. Uh, I attend Wesleyan High School. I'm an outfielder and middle infielder. And this is what's in my bag. Uh, start out with almost something that's like always outside my bag that I just carry. My Rawlings infield glove. It is a Pro 2042 11 and a half professional model. It's custom, as you can tell. I got the glove locks on here. Nice, nice, and they give it a little bit of color. Uh, Curacao flag for my pops, because that's the island he's from. And then it's got my name and my number on it. And then going into the bats, I swing the Victus JC24. It's got a little custom with my name on it, but um, just a black handle and a, a natural grain, but covered uh, barrel, 33 and a half, 30, just a normal stock model. And then for my metal bat, I go with the Victus Knox. It's one of the brand new ones that just came out. And if you want to review, Bat Bros has a review on this bat. And it's almost, it's a little bit balanced. It's got a little bit of top heaviness to it, but it's a 33 and a half, 30 and a half also, because they're one of the only bats that has 33 and a half in it. I'm gonna give you guys uh, three models that I like to swing, and um, yeah, three models that I like to swing, and these are three different bag companies. Also, you can get from any store or online. Custom also, they come in custom sizes and things like that. One model that I like to swing is the JC24 I have here. Uh, it's pretty much brand new. Just started swinging it, but um, I like the feel. It's got a nice. Uh, flared handle so you get a nice feel with the grip with your hand um, and then it's balanced all the way through that's why it looks kind of skinnier but um, you get maximum feel with this because it's nice and light and it's balanced and uh, you can whip it around quick but I like the cam the black camo Victus logo it looks cool um, you get a nice feel with it but um, yeah it's a custom of course 33 and a half um, I usually don't swing 33 and a half, but I've been swinging it recently. I usually 33, 33 and a half guy, but I mean, 33 and a half is where it's at if you really need anything. Um, what for another wood bat that I like to swing is the AJ25 by Old Hickory. Um, it's got a skinnier handle, but the same flare as the JC24. I don't, not a lot of people like it, but I do. And um, it's got a nice skinny handle and then a big barrel on the end and it gives you a little bit of top heavy feel. I usually use a 33 in that model because I mean, it can always get it around. And um, if you want a big barrel, then you can hit it every, pretty much anything on it. And it has a lot of pop and make sure that you get a steel press because it's only $20 extra and it makes a lot better difference in the bath. And another model that I like to swing is the Louisville Slugger C271 and a 33 or a 33 and a half. It doesn't matter. It's nice and it's got a skinnier handle than the JC or it's got a skinnier like handle, like where you hold the bat at than the JC24. But I mean, you get a, you get the same feel with the uh, balanceness in it. And I mean, I can't really complain. It's got a lot of pop. Make sure you get maple and get the prime one. I think they're on back order right now, but they're gonna come out more soon. So you gotta make sure you get onto it right away because a bunch of people are gonna go and go after it and get it. But um, some metal bats that I like to swing also, because I brought them out here. Um, the Victus Knox, it's a brand new, uh, I think first, this is a first year one. Uh, it's a 33 and a half. This is like one of the only bats that they come, that has a 33 and a half in it. And then I also swing uh, Demarini The Goods. It, you can get in a 33 and a half also. Uh, it's one of the top bats in the 
country right now. You see a lot of teams swinging that right now. And then also a preferred one of mine, not a lot of people swing it, uh, the Voodoo, just the standard 2021 Voodoo balance. It's always got a good feel. It's nice and balanced. You can always whip it around really quick. And then for the, the last metal bat, the Easton Fuse 360, or just one of the Easton Fuses in general, the black and green or the white or silver and blue. Uh, they're nice and balanced also. And I mean, that one piece is ridiculous. Can't complain about it. And then you have my body armor, which is always outside my bag that I carry around. And any type of water, make sure you hydrate before games. Because if you don't hydrate, then you'll pass out. But that's besides the point. So going into my bag, it's an Evo Shield bag that I got from when I played with the Evo Shield Generals in the Wilson Premier event. And this bag is on the Evo Shield website and it's a nice, comfortable bag. It can fit all your stuff in it and it's nice and nice and big. You can put your helmet and your glove and all your cleats in here. And you got places for your batting gloves and all the equipment you need. So starting with my top pocket, I have I always have tape on me right here. And then I have my sunflower seeds, David Buffalo style ranch to go to. Um, then I go deeper and deeper into this pocket and I have my Adidas sleeve. And then I also have a Nike sleeve that's nice and tight. It's a compression sleeve for after game if you if your arm feels tired. Moving along, I have had some Advil in case there's any pain in the arm. I wouldn't suggest using this all the time. If your arm hurts, don't just use Advil. Eye black for pregame needs in case anything happens. Moving on to the bottom pocket. Not much in here, batting gloves, Nike, Colorado Rockies, purple. Uh, then I move along into Franklin. Nice and blue, royal blue color. It always looks good with your uniform. Then you have the navy blue Evo Shield batting gloves. I like Evo Shield batting gloves a lot because you can also put a pad in here in case uh, you're scared of getting hit in the hands with a fastball. But probably my go-to is probably Franklin, the Pro, uh, I think it's the SRZ model. It's just the regular standard one. It has it doesn't have the power strap on it. But um, I like these because they're nice and comfortable and I don't get as many blisters, but they do kind of, sometimes they run down easy, so you gotta get a bunch of pairs, but I always like those. Another pair of Nike, just standard black batting gloves. Um, Got these at the All-Star game when I went out there to Colorado. And then I think I have some more in here. Another pair of Evo Shield, nice and white, so you can accent with any white uniform that you have. I think that's, that's it for in here. Sometimes I have Pine Tar, Tiger Stick, or the Marucci uh, Spray Pine Tar. Those two usually are pretty good. You can put them right, the stick, you can put it right on your batting glove and you don't have to worry about getting your bat all sticky for when you put it in your car or anything like that. So that goes it for the batting gloves. And then moving on to the inside of my bag, the big pocket. I got a bunch of items in here. I got my Vanderbilt cleats from Note Customs. Uh, it's got a little V on it, Vanderbilt, Nike, regular, React, the brand new model. And then it has my initials and my number on the side of it too. These are really comfortable cleats. I mean, they're always reliable and um, the laces don't rip often unless you use them a, a lot, but um, I mean, I can't, can't complain with these cleats. They're nice and light too. I mean, if you want to go lighter and lighter, you can go with Adidas. That's also another pair that I use, but these are just a pair that I like to use a lot. And then I have my belt. It's just a regular standard belt, navy blue, but you don't really have to worry about my belt because I have other pairs. But another belt that you should probably get is any um, leather belt on Amazon. They're only 15 bucks and then they always look good with the uniform because they fit your size and you don't have the little silver elastic or piece on it that makes it look kind of the leather makes you look more official if you want to go that way and then i have my molds uh they're just an adidas pair of football cleats uh red and white for my philly scout team because we have a uniform with white pinstripe pants so these always look good with those nice and light uh comfortable um good bottoms for turf fields. I mean, you can get a nice grip on going on those fields and you can also wear these on dirt if you want to too. I don't suggest it because I like metal cleats on dirt because you can dig into the ground better. But these are perfect for turf because you can move quicker and nobody gets on to you about wearing the metal cleats on the turf. 
And then moving on, I have my Wilson glove. Uh, it's got my name on the side right here. A lot of my gloves are custom. Um, A2000, uh, 12.75, 17.99 pro stock. Um, you know, it's nice and comfortable. I mean, it's a, it's got a good link too, and so you can catch a lot of balls that sometimes people couldn't catch with a 12 and a half. But another glove that I use is the Rawlings. Uh, it's just the pro model with uh, one one strip, and uh, it's a gold glove model for my dad and has a gold patch on it. But I had to give it back today because um, it's uh, nice and dry because I've been using it since 13 years old. But this is a glove I've been using as of recently. I mean, it's nice and it's got the snake skin on it, so it's got a good look to it. It's got the new, uh, like new digital feel on it. I don't know if you can see the difference, but you can see the difference between that and that. It's not leather. It's like a nice, I don't know how to describe it, but it feels good. And it's nice and comfortable. It's nice and loose. You gotta make sure you tie all these up. But um, yeah, I got this, the colorways for Vanderbilt. I mean, I just, well, they use Wilson. I was like, I might as well get a Wilson glove while I can. Um, Moving on, I have my helmet with my stuff in it. I got an Evo Shield, one strap, elbow guard. Fits nice and comfortable. Looks good with anything. Um, I like the red. It's like one of my favorite colors, so it looks good all the time. And then I got my hand guard also. And this is nice and comfortable. It's for my left hand, my glove hand, so I don't mess it up in case I can't catch baseballs. But um you know, it's nice and comfortable. They're all, this is all online also on evoshield.com. You can get it. And then you can get it in store too at Better Baseball or any uh, sports equipment store. And then I have my Evo Shield leg guard, uh, the regular one for right-handed hitters. Um, it's nice and comfortable. You know, I can't really complain about it. Um, it gets a job done. And then another pair of Franklin batting gloves. That's how you know I like them because they're all messed up like you can see right there and they're pretty dark on the inside but that's mainly from the pine tar also but um they're always comfortable they're reliable they don't rip as easy as some other batting gloves but um sometimes the durability doesn't last a long time if you swing almost every day but i mean that happens with any other batting gloves but i like these a lot especially with the silver accent and um my helmet uh philly's helmet from this summer got some dirt in it that's kind of gross but um yeah this is it's a pro helmet because we we're sponsored by the Phillies this year so it's authentic you probably can't get this in store but this is what I use if you want to get an in-store helmet you should probably go with an Evo Shield helmet they're nice and comfortable and you can get a C flat form at any pretty much any store but um yeah I mean this is it's nice and comfortable or Rawlings helmets are comfortable too with the built-in C flap also uh, you see a lot of guys in the MLB use that. This is mainly a minor league helmet. This is what they give to players when they are still like in the minor leagues because it has the double flaps on it. I'd probably say, I don't know, there's some crazy items in the MLB that a lot of people won't have, but I mean, uh, one of the items I would like to have in my bag is probably, Usually I kind of want a small, like a small bat so I can do some drills with that. I mean, that's not always in my bag all the time because you don't get to use, most of the time you can't do drills before. But I mean, if you have time, you always need to get a little bat. Any brand works. Marucci is one of my favorite ones for little bats, but um, you just gotta make sure you have a little bat always so you can do your one hand drills and two hand short drills. And it's always perfect. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for what's in my bag. And then I have my uh, bag tags from different tournaments from perfect game and things like that but yeah that's pretty much what's in my bag